The diabetes timeline is always written like this. You ate too much, moved too little and ended up fat. You're bad. These extra pounds created stress, leading your cells to become insulin resistant. Since your cells stopped listening to the insulin, more insulin had to be produced. Thankfully, all this extra insulin kept the sugar levels in the normal range. Until the beta cells in the pancreas gave up the ghost. That is, they started to fail. Their failure caused sugar levels to rise, particularly after meals, leading to glucose intolerance. The excessive insulin production schedule causes beta cells stress. More and more beta cells succumb, culminating in a diagnosis of type 2 diabetes. It's a simple story, but what if this diabetes timeline is wrong? A team of researchers from the University of British Columbia provide compelling evidence that the story has a different beginning. Instead of starting with you being fat, it starts with you being insulin resistant. Let me explain in this episode of Better Body Chemistry TV as we scrutinize the diabetes timeline. Better Body Chemistry TV is brought to you by Dr. Sandy, a scientist turned gremlin buster, helping you battle sugar gremlins, heifer lumps, and other health horribles through better body chemistry. Remember, small things can make a big difference to your health. When it comes to genes, mice and men have a lot of similarities. This is why scientists study them. There's certainly a lot more human than fruit flies, worms, and yeast. But there are differences. One such difference involves the insulin gene. Or should I say genes? Mice have two versions of the gene, INS1 and INS2. Humans only have one version, INS. The team of researchers set about exploiting this difference. They engineered mice that had only one working copy of the INS1 gene. The other copy was a dud, and two bad copies of the INS2 gene. This created mice with an interesting insulin profile. You see, the INS1 gene is responsible for making insulin in the pancreas. The INS2 gene is responsible for making insulin everywhere else. Now, for the record, the everywhere else includes the brain and thymus. But when it comes to diabetes, it's the insulin in the pancreas that matters. This little genetic tweak created mice that were a little low on insulin. They could make it, just not so much. Kind of like someone with type 2 diabetes, but without the insulin resistance. The next step, the mice, along with a group of ordinary mice sporting two copies of the INS gene, were offered an opportunity to live the good life. With lots of feasting 
on a high fat diet. So who got fat? The mice with two copies of the INS1 gene. Yep, producing more insulin caused obesity. The mice that were low on insulin munched away, but never got fat. In fact, they were the same weight as animals being maintained on a low fat diet. It was the more insulin that made the animals fat. When insulin was missing, fat cells behaved differently. In a nutshell, they burned more fat. This is not really a big surprise. Insulin's job description is the chief calorie storer. What was the surprise was the timeline. The researchers demonstrated the diabetes timeline looks like this. You must have hyperinsulinemia to get fat. You don't get fat and then get hyperinsulinemia. It's a subtle difference, but the implications are huge. The take home message, too much insulin or hyperinsulin secretion is at the root of the problem. And this is the issue that needs to be tackled in the management of obesity and type 2 diabetes. A good place to start is to do a little candy flossing. Download our free report to learn more. Candy flossing will help you create better body chemistry. Interested in discovering more ways to create better body chemistry so you optimize your health and the health of your family? Visit our website at www.betterbodychemistry.com. Browse our library or enroll in one of our courses or programs. The advice? is simple to follow and based on real science, not hype. Know someone who is struggling with their weight or pre-diabetic? Share this video with them so they understand that too much insulin is behind their weight problems. So fixing the insulin problem is the priority. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to our channel to catch future episodes of Better Body Chemistry TV. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Remember, small things can make a big difference to your health.